What's going on guys, this is Young here from Epic Tech Tips. Uh, here with another tutorial today on how to downgrade your Motorola Atrix 4G if it's running on 4.1.56 or if it's running on 4.183. Uh, it's actually 1.57. Um, in order to downgrade it, you want if you want to downgrade it, you have to download it downgrade it to 1.26 if you're if you are on AT&T. Uh, first things first, what you want to do is go to this website right here. I will have a link down below in the bar on uh, what the website is so you guys could just click on it. And you guys have to download this file right here. This is actually the rooting file. This is the file that you need to flash uh, the SPF onto your phone. And um, if you click that link, um, there's a password in order for you to, I think, either download it or open the file. I forgot which one it is, but I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download any of, those, uh, any of those files up there. And um, let's see what else. This is the 1.2.6 file for your phone, so you need to download that. And um, this is the actual software for the computer. It's RSD Lite. This is by Motorola themselves directly. Um, after you download that, you should install the program, and um, it's gonna look something like this after you, after it's in, been installed. So you open it up. And it's just going to be a regular square. I'll teach you guys on how to use that in a little bit. Um, let's see. And then after you download that uh, program itself, what you have to do is install that program, or start it up, and you need the drivers for your phone, uh, whether you have a 32-bit computer or 64-bit. And um, you also need an external SD card. It's the best way. And and um, let's get started. That's all the files that you need for now. On on this uh, tutorial on the thread right here, it says if you don't want to lose any of your files, it's best to um, when you are flashing SPF, it's best to remove your micro SD card and the slim SIM card itself because it might erase all the files that you have on there. But um, this is a brand new phone that I got from the warranty replacement, so I'm not gonna, I, I don't need to. Um, take it out but it's recommended if you guys have files on there that you guys need you guys should uh, take it out and um, once you guys uh, have everything installed you guys should start up this program while your phone is connected via USB and um, it's gonna start up and it's gonna load up your phone and it's gonna say your phone has been connected once it sees that click these three symbol like three little dots right here next to the file name and then browse your directory and look for this file the 1.2 alifer underscore u4.1.2.6 file that's the file that you're going to use to flash the SPF and then downgrade your phone to the 1.2.6 firmware after that's been selected all you have to do is just click start and your phone will start to reboot and um, in a little bit did I click start yes now I'm clicking start uh, it's gonna switch the device into flash mode it's gonna do its thing this usually this process usually takes about 10-15 minutes uh, so I'm not gonna bore you guys showing you guys this so I'm just gonna I was on 4.1 the the newest AT&T over the air update which was I forgot what it was was it yeah I was on 4.1.83 and I need to downgrade it to root my phone so this is the way to do it and then uh, once this is done I'll come back and let you guys know what to do after this okay guys now it's done um, if you guys want to take a look at the app it says uh, finished and it's gonna have a result right here it's gonna say pass uh, once you guys are done with that if you take a look at the phone try to focus in on it um, it's gonna make you re-log into all your uh, accounts and stuff like Moto Blur and um, set up the phone you can just skip this portion and then it basically wipes out your entire phone downgrades it uh, this is the 
and then to verify you to verify to you guys that I am actually on 4.1.26 I will go to about phone settings about phone and then over here it's gonna tell me I'm on version on wait, where is it system version 4.1.26 on AT&T uh, that's how to downgrade your device after that um, you can add custom ROMs, you can root it, you can do whatever you want from that point on. And then this method right here is also good for uh, if you happen to mess around with your phone and you brick your phone and it freezes at any point while you are messing around with it, you can use this method right here to unbrick your phone and save it from any trouble that you're going through. And then it'll also downgrade your phone and it'll basically restore you back to stock and if you ever need to send your device out for warranty stuff like that this is how this is the method to, you, that you want to use to do it and then um, that's it for now if you guys want you guys can all, always donate to uh, the person who creates these uh, tutorials is Kenneth Penn on uh, forum.xda developers and um, that's it for now I will have upcoming videos on how to root the phone and install custom ROMs on it etc and um, if you guys want, you guys can follow me on Twitter, Epic Tech Tips, or you guys can up, um, you guys can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Anyways, that's it for now. Peace out, guys.